An ex-con man now wants to help fraud victims. News 2's consumer investigator Libba Holland brings you his story of how he stole more than $50,000. A drug addiction can not only harm you physically, but also financially. And in this case, one man's addiction affected dozens of others. Well, I was a full-fledged meth addict for about 16 years. Dallas Tedford says this drug addiction cost him almost $1,000 a week. So he turned to a life of crime. We went around to the richer neighborhoods and we stole the United States Postal Mill out of the mailbox, gathering information, gathering intelligence. Specifically, personal checks. The flag up indicated that there was outgoing mill, which is usually a check to pay a, a phone bill, a check to pay the electricity, a check to pay a car payment. Those checks hold a wealth of personal information. You have access, a welcome to the bank account which you could alter the numbers on it. You could reprint your own checks. They would have their friends open up accounts and then have them deposit checks to those accounts, withdraw as much money as they could the first or second day until the bank caught on to the fraud. 1,000 victims lost more than $70,000. Tedford admits his drug problem helped him justify his actions. He felt the banks were the only victims. They were going to report it as fraud. They were never going to lose no money and everything. At the end of the day, everybody's happy. I get my money. They don't lose nothing. Once caught, Dallas admitted to his crimes, went to prison, and has been cleared for three years now. If I didn't commit those crimes, I would have been out there still using methamphetamines. I don't know if I would be dead. I don't know what kind of life I would be living right now. But by me going to prison, it saved my life. Dallas Tedford was sentenced and served more than four years in prison for ID theft and mail fraud charges. He is in the process of paying the $70,000 in restitution he owes the victims in this case. With this News 2 I-Team Consumer Alert, I'm consumer investigator Libba Holland.